Team meetings, where volunteers gather to discuss challenges and share stories, play an important role in the Experience Core model. Putnam suggests that this practice increases the volunteer's sense of common mission, a form of social capital. No, we have, we have, I guess once a month we gather somewhere. This next week we're going to Richmond for a meeting and they'll tutor you, the tutor, in uh, math skills. And uh, they also just have uh, recreational, get to know your fellow volunteer kind of programs. Just bear with me. I think to make this game really successful, we have to be five to eight years old. So we gotta let, we gotta let go. We gotta let go of our adults. Yesterday I was working with these two kids after school, and they wanted help from their homework. They kept want, they wanted me to help them, but they didn't really want me to help them. They wanted me to do it. <laughs> so they're sitting there, and I just kept saying, "Mr. Dowling, I need help." One after, one over here, one over here. I need help. I need help. And I just kept doing it. So today, when I thought about being five to eight years old, that's the five to eight year old I'm going to be. I need help, Mr. Dowling. So that's mine. Joe, you got something? How old are you? <laughs> Good. I kind of enjoy them because I, I learned some new things. I got to know the people better. I can make some jokes and get around. Uh, I just feel that, like how I said, there should be more fire in those beings. It's hard to get people passionate about, you know, and that's what it means. It needs passion. I think they're very important to keep us close to the situation. Oh, yeah. I think they're important to not allow people to forget what they're there for. I think they're important to maybe ignite a little bit of some of these ideas that they never thought they had in them. Rich Yerman explains his volunteering as part of a larger civic mission. Yeah, oh absolutely. I mean, I don't know that my mission would be the same mission that, that they would define. Uh, but, you know, I was telling you that little saying, I, th I think that was off camera last time, about, you know, the most important thing that children learn is to read and to write, and then they go to school and they're told to sit down and shut up. Uh, uh, that's what I feel is a mission, you know, to, to have these kids get past. It's not as bad now as when I was in school. They don't sit in rows, you know, they sit around these tables and they, they do get to discuss things and so on. But basically, it's, it's, a, it's such a regimented, even in middle school, you know, you go from one class to another, you've got 10 minutes to get between classes. Uh, you have to adapt yourself to the different styles of all the teachers. There's this constant pressure uh, to have assignments in on time, to do your homework, and so on and so forth. Um, that my feeling is these kids need a great deal more encouragement to actually care about what they're doing and freedom to pursue it uh, so that they become not uh, pupils in a school, but people who care about social problems, literature, whatever. You ate the apple and left me the core. That's, this is not some big metaphor for our marriage. It's what you did that sunny late spring afternoon 30 years ago when my cousin Darlene stopped by with her kids to drop off a card and a hard, sweet, shiny apple from her backyard for my birthday. You two were already well on the way to becoming fast friends by then, so you piled our daughter and her two into her car and drove off to the beach. But before you went, you ate the apple and placed what was left alongside the tiny star-shaped card on my desk where I found them when I got home from work hours later. No explanation, no note, just the card and the remains of an apple. By the time the five of you came boiling up the front steps, flushed and noisy, I was sitting out on the deck, sipping a vodka and tonic, watching the sun drop into the bay. That afternoon, alone, quietly celebrating my birthday, not knowing where you'd gone or when you'd return, was one of my sweetest times in all our years together. <laughs>